Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the topic keyboard shortcuts. This is a very important topic and one that you need to, to pay keen attention to as a typist who is aware of shortcut keys has a distinct advantage as it relates to speed in typing. We're going to be looking at various categories as it relates to these shortcut keys. I did a video some time back, I'm going to link it um, in, at the end of this video where you can see it, but that video was on the keyboard itself and we looked at the various keys on the keyboard. Today in this video, we are going to be looking at how we combine those keys to form shortcuts which help in typing. We're first going to be looking at working in the document. So the, this combination of keys helps to modify the document, the existing document that you're working in. We have control plus C together that helps to copy information. Control plus X cuts the information by removing information from location to the clipboard. Control plus V pastes information. It does that by inserting a copy of the information stored on the clipboard. If we want to capture the screen information, we use what is called the print screen. Alt plus F4 closes selected windows or program. If we want to save a file, there are two ways we can do that. We can do that by pressing Ctrl and S, or we can press Alt plus F and S at the same time. To start a new document or to open a new document, we use Ctrl plus N. And if we want to open an existing file, that would be Ctrl plus O. Now we're going to look at working with text. If we want to select everything in a document, that would be Ctrl plus A. Ctrl plus B, we'll use that to select text to make it bold. So anything we want to make bold, we'll highlight it and select Ctrl plus B. If we want to make the text, place it in italic, or italic is a way of skewing things to the right, we'll press Ctrl, highlight it, and press Ctrl plus I. To underline text is Ctrl plus U, and to select text that will be, we are going to place a double line under it, we hold down the Ctrl plus the shift key, plus the letter D. Okay, still working with text. To align text to the left is Ctrl plus L. To align it in the center is Ctrl plus E. Right alignment, Ctrl plus R. And to justify it, it is Ctrl plus J. If we want to increase the font size of the text, it is Ctrl plus the curly bracket, the closed one, right? Closed curly bracket. And if we want to decrease the font size, it is the Ctrl plus the open curly bracket. Okay, now as it relates to the increase in font size, that would be Ctrl plus the greater than sign. And note that it increases the font size one point per stroke. To decrease the font size one point per stroke, it will be Ctrl plus the less than sign. To initiate the font dialog box, which allows for changing in font features, that is Ctrl plus D. To increase the indent by half inch per keystroke, it is Ctrl plus M, and to increase the hanging indent by half inch per keystroke, it is Ctrl plus T. Okay, now to undo a text or command, it is Ctrl plus Z. If we want to redo what we have undone, it is Ctrl plus Y. If we want to insert a new page from the point where we are, it is Ctrl plus the Enter key. And here we have to remove a character to the right of the cursor, we press the delete key. And to remove a character to the left of the cursor, it is the backspace key. So both delete and backspace, they both T 
take out things, right? But one happens in front of the cursor, which is delete, and one happens at the left of the cursor. Now we're going to be looking at the topic um, maneuvering documents. Okay? With this, we are looking at the cursor management. So if we like to print a document, that would be control plus P. If we like to go to the beginning of a line of text, we press the home key. If we want to go to the end of the line of text, we press the end key. If it is that we like to move the cursor to the beginning of the next word to the right of the sentence, we press control plus the right cursor or arrow key. If we would like to move the cursor to the beginning of the next word to the left of the sentence, we we'll press Ctrl plus the left arrow key. To move the cursor to the beginning of the next paragraph in the sentence, we will press Ctrl plus the down arrow key. And finally, we're going to be looking at... Um, Moving the cursor to the beginning of the previous paragraph in the sentence, we press the Ctrl plus the up cursor. To move the cursor to the next paragraph in the document, we can press the Ctrl plus the page down key. To move the cursor to the top of the next page in the document, it's Ctrl plus page up. And to move the cursor to the beginning of the document, that is Ctrl plus shift plus the home key, and to move the cursor to the end of the document, we press Ctrl plus Shift plus the end key. Now, this has been a lot, right? But you will not get everything at once. All these things comes with practice. Remember, I said we should always practice, all right? And so, you will always have this video that you can refer to if it is that you need to remind yourself of all these keys. Right, but bear in mind that you need to subscribe, you need to like, and you need to share this video so that others can benefit from it as well. Do enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you found the video very interesting.